Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is war number 10. We just got two more wars after this one. And we're going up against an alliance called Bad Apples. Now, we've faced Bad Apples before uh, in the past. I don't remember uh, who won, who lost, um, but I do remember their name. All right, so this time you'll notice that I took out Warlock, and I'm going in with Guillotine 2099. That's because we're in a higher tier. They're using that defense tactic flow, which I hate, but Guillotine 2099 is actually pretty good for flow. All right, now they didn't place a defender on that first node, but they did place a defender on the second one, and it is an OG vision. Now, I sat here for a little bit because I'm thinking, can Gladiator Hulk take this fight? All right, so defense tactic flow, You've got OG Vision, who is a control champion. So every time I crit, he's going to get a power gain buff. And he has a passive power gain with that synthesis. So I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty dicey fight here. So you see here, he's got stacked power gain. But every time I get a parry, it stops it. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm trying to be very careful. See that synthesis? Don't want to push him past one bar of power, maybe one and a little bit. And then you want to bait. Okay, so you see here, he's playing nice. He's baiting out. There's that uh, power flood again. But I parried, turned it off, go back in. Now I got to bait it, all right? All right, we go in, we're getting down, and we got him. Okay, so not a difficult fight, but you have to be very careful. That can be a very tricky fight if I had messed up or fought a little bit differently, I could have easily eaten a special three. So that's not a bad placement for uh, that OG vision. Not bad at all. And as you can see, this mini boss is open. So she's about to get tentacle slapped. Uh, that is who I always take this node with when I do take this node uh, because Omega Red with the tentacles, that's why I keep saying tentacle slap, uh, he doesn't make any contact. So Psychic Thorns does not do damage back to him. So what I try to do is I try to minimize the uh, non-tentacle uh, attacks. All right, see I had to swipe there to get that invisibility off. All right, and then you see here, you know, medium, medium, and then fired off a heavy to lock in the uh, spores. And you can see here I'm doing like mediums, medium, light mediums, you know, anything to just try and avoid taking a lot of that damage back. All right. And we got her almost dead. Just that easy. Okay. Baited out that special two. And now I need to be careful. Swipe once. Let that invisibility go. And then boom. Finish it off with a special two. So we took down that mini without too much difficulty. Um, like I said, I don't always get a chance to fight that many, uh, but this time they had already cleared their paths. The only time I won't do this is if it's a, um, robot, because that's a bad matchup for my Omega Red. All right. So now you're going to see Jigner. He sent me this video and he fought this guillotine 2099 with his uh, Corvus. Wish I could bring my Corvus, but my Corvus is locked into AQ. Uh, but this is why I would not mind uh, getting a six star Corvus uh, because I would probably start using Corvus in Alliance War once again, probably uh, take him to rank two. All right. So uh, Guillotine 2099 is a control champion. So you see here, she's getting a lot of power flood. Uh, he pushed her dangerously close, but he's now backing off, slow playing it, parrying to get rid of the uh, power. Okay, there we go. Boom. And I'm like, okay. Um, and for you guys that don't know, look at this. That was sweet. Uh, for you guys that don't know, he has a little power drain on his special two. So that's why he pushed him to a special three, fired off the special two, and it got her down. But then she had a power gain, 
thanks to that flow. Uh, but he was able to put her down. Uh, so that was actually a little bit uh, scary uh, when I first saw it. But he got her done. So now I'm on uh, section two. And I take path two. And I see this Mr. Fantastic here. And I can't remember if he was control or not. So I look. Nope, he's not. So that's good. I don't like fighting Mr. Fantastic. I don't really like his animations. I think they made him look goofy. Uh, and I just don't like fighting fighting him. Uh, and as a result, I don't tend to fight him a lot. And so I don't tend to do a very good job fighting him. He'll evade and do some other things. And I don't know why. Because I've never really looked into um, his abilities and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I will once I get him as a five star and make a video on him. All right. So... My basic plan here is to evade his specials and try to fire off my heavy attacks to get those spores on him, like that. You see how I delayed it a little bit? That was something that I wasn't doing when I first started playing Omega Red. So now, I look at that timer and I try to um, delay it just a little bit so I can get one extra spore on him. And then right there, I just got lucky. He evaded and, and you know, he could have easily wrecked me there. But I got lucky. He didn't attack me back. Uh, even if he had attacked me back, it would just taken a chunk of my health. Uh, he wouldn't have taken me out. All right, so next fight, we've got Sorcerer Supreme. And here's another champion that I do not have a lot of experience fighting. And I'm looking here, and I'm like, okay. For some reason, I thought she was uh, control, but she's not. And uh, Defense Tactic Flow is not going to have any effect on her whatsoever. So uh, that's why I didn't go in with uh, Guillotine 2099. But I thought that was Control and I was going to be fighting her with Guillotine 2099. All right. But you can see here, I'm doing the same thing that I did before. Uh, just trying to delay things, get as many spores on her as possible. Fire off the heavy in order to lock the spores in. You see here, I just scoot up over to her so I can get some more spores on her. All right, and there we go. I go in, give her a kick, and tentacle slapped. And she's down. All right, so that was uh, my path. Uh, pretty, pretty easy. Now, that is the last fight that I will be doing in this war. Now, before we end, here is another fight by Jigner that he submitted to me, and he's going up against Warlock with Corvus. And watching this fight reminds me of when I used to bring Corvus uh, into Alliance War. Uh, and as you will see, he is actually boosted up, and you'll be able to tell uh, that power boost and just how useful that power boost is. All right, so you see here, He's going in, and he is taking it to him. You notice he's not doing full hit combos. He's parrying a lot. He's uh, controlling the defense tactic flow. Okay, so he's hitting once, twice, and then parrying to turn it off. All right, and now remember what I said about Corvus. Boom. Now he doesn't have a special three, but he's back to a special two. Boom. This is the power um boost all right so he's good he baited out and he just got to do a little bit more and warlock is down uh when i came back as you can see it was already cleared uh we do try to divvy it up but sometimes one of us goes all the way through just takes all the minis and everything um but i actually was going to take out right there on that node was a man thing and i was going to take out that man thing with my omega red but right when i was uh going in i saw him still there and i'm like okay let me uh go get something to eat real quick and then i'll go take him out when i went in there somebody had already taken him out and there was a couple of minis still left up but i didn't have good options for either of those minis I think one was, um, I'm trying to remember, I think one was MODOK and one was Doom, I think. I can't remember, but um, we have people that fight them better and had better options. So I didn't touch either of them. 
All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little quick intermission and we will be back and you'll find out the results of this war. So far, we have won every war. I looked at the score and it's a very close war at this point in time. Uh, you have even, they're very even uh, in uh, deaths. Uh, we started off really, really bad, but right now it's tied. So if we can just finish strong, we got them. All right, so I'll be right back and we'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, our winning streak has come to an end. And I believe this also ends any hopes that we had of getting platinum. And I believe that not everyone was on board with us getting platinum. Uh, you can see that we actually did not drop a boss. That is unheard of. And as you can imagine, uh, tempers have flared. Uh, a lot of people are not happy, especially those who have uh, gone above and beyond. And I can understand that. Uh, I've been in that situation before where I was boosting and, you know, going all out. And to have them at this level not down a boss is an insult. And that's what was being said. It's insulting to the rest of the alliance. Um, so management has been working on taking care of this issue. Uh, hopefully it will be resolved by the time we transfer back over to our main alliance. Um, but I don't even know what's going to happen the next uh, couple of wars uh, because I'm pretty sure the motivation is going to be really low. Uh, we've been pushing and there was a discussion as to whether we should place with suicides or not. And a few people thought we should place uh, without suicides to give the best, strongest defense and give us a chance at getting platinum. Uh, I asked if a poll could be taken because I run suicides all the time and that would mean I would have to use units every war from that point on. And I'm trying to build my units up for July 4. And they did a poll and it was pretty much tied. So I was told to do whatever I wanted to place with suicides or not. Uh, so of course I placed with suicides. And in the beginning of this war, I could already tell that something was, was up. We gave up like four easy deaths right off the bat. And I was sitting there thinking, I hope they're not going to say if we lose this, it's because people were placing with suicides. I'm like, I hope they're not going to say that because we got other issues apparently. And now with this result, there is probably no way uh, we would get platinum. So uh, no need to push. I don't think folks are going to even want to use items. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but I'm going to keep doing whatever I do. Uh, so no difference here. Uh, I will go try not to die, clear my paths, same as, as I always do. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Uh, one loss, but we've got two more wars. They'll probably end up being very relaxed wars. Um, but in any case, take care. Uh, click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.